Groom Room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be from Talvin Still and Mel Grooming. And this is Echoes of Rain. Uh, this is a Canadian Wet Shavers exclusive. Canadian Wet Shavers, for anyone that doesn't know, is a, is a Facebook group obviously focused around Canadian Wet Shavers. Um, the scent on this is just wonderful. Uh, the way I would describe it, it's herbaceous. It's spicy. Um, I could see what they were going for. And the description I will link in... Well, I mean, the description of the soap by Tallow and Steel is actually really accurate, and I'll put it below. The notes on this, I've had to write them down because there are so many, are patchouli, palmarosa, clary sage, bergamot, juniper berries, cardamom, tobacco, basil, cedar, and coffee. Oh, it's just wonderful. It's very herbaceous. It actually reminds me a bit of tea, which is interesting. So I'm looking forward to bringing you that. That's going to be my choice of soap today. And of course, I have the matching splash to go with it. I was very happy to be able to get a hold of this. I've been looking for this set for a very long time. And I managed to get it from one of the guys from Canadian Wet Shavers. So, so a big thumbs up to you. My razor of choice today, as you may have seen by the title... Um, I, I've had this razor before. This is the Blackland Vector, and honestly, I don't think I gave it a fair shout the first time around. I would say my preferences to razors have changed ever so slightly, and the blade fill I get on this is much more tolerable than it was when I tried it a few months ago. Um, I have shaved with this again since getting it back, and I really enjoy the shave, so I'm going to be using that as my razor. My brush is going to be the that Don Rob slash turn and shave um, V3 tip knot. Um, that Don Rob called this handle the Goblet of Fire. It's a really cool looking handle, and that's going to be my brush today. So, like we have been doing recently, I'm not going to bother cutting. We're just going to get straight into loading the brush here. Shake the excess water out. Nice tips on there. Not the most jelly tips, but it does make a good lens with this brush. So. How have you guys been doing? I've been doing very well. I'm uh, looking forward to shaving this. I've got about two days growth, which is pretty normal for me to be honest. But more recently, for some reason, I've been shaving. Um, I've been shaving every about 24 hours. I've been enjoying um, doing lots of live shaves. I've been doing them on Instagram and a couple of Facebook groups that I'm a member of. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy the interaction with people. So as this opens up, this gets more spicy. I'd say it gets a little bit more herbaceous as well. The bergamot is definitely coming out as, as the note. I get a little bit of the sage, the cardamom especially. Cardamom is quite a powerful scent. Um, everyone knows I like the tallow and steel base. They are one of my go-to artisans, tallow and steel. I've, I've tried some of their stuff and it's not for me, but they are, one of those companies that I would define as a polarizing company. They do they don't do things that everyone's gonna love and I, I respect that. And Ryan is a very, very good um scent creator. Watch this space. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Um okay. Let's uh wet the face here and we will get to lathering up. So I think I've shaved with this um, once since I've got it back from Milton, but the backbone, it just had too much backbone for me at one point and uh, a little bit too much scrub, but it has a, now it has a, a little bit of scrub and zero scritch. It was a little bit scritchy before and I'm not a huge fan of that. Some people don't mind. But yeah, that isn't really to my taste. I like a brush to feel quite soft as a face lather or anyway. It makes me able to lather for longer and, you know, you know how much I do though. Okay, let's dip the tips here. When I found this, I was... Um, so a good friend of mine, and if you haven't checked out his channel, uh, Justin McIntyre, who is based in Canada, 
is a very good wet shaver. Um, by very good wet shaver, he's one of, I believe he's one of the admins of Canadian wet shavers. Very good guy. Um, I speak to him back and forth now and again, a big support of Clive as well, which we massively appreciate. He managed to get a hold of this and I commented on his thread that, man, how did you manage to get a hold of that? And someone was more than happy to just let a set go. So I bought that off of them, got them sent, got them to send it to Chris and Chris sent it to me, which, you know, ecstatic because this is something I really wanted for a long time. If you haven't checked out Justin's channel, I'll link it down below. He's a very good guy. Um, yeah, just check him out. I'm sure you'll like his content. He uses quite a lot of uh, Canada-based products. So if you're interested to see what Canada offers, he uses some of the best stuff up north of the border. He uses a bit of everything. He's also a very good uh, straight razor shaver. So I would uh, watch out for that as well. As far as tallow bases go, I will always say this tallow and steel base is very, very easy to work with. And that's something I would say I've been thinking about a lot more recently, just the ease of lathering. And uh, I think that's important to me, you know, because as much as I'm willing to lather for 20 minutes, I would prefer not to. I mean, I enjoy lathering, as you guys probably know, but... I much prefer to get those results in a smaller amount of time, kind of as you would expect. And this doesn't mean... So for me, that's a bit too dry at the moment. So we're just gonna paint a bit of water. The volume is lovely, but it's a bit dry. So we're just gonna get some water in here and just sprinkle it on the brush and start painting some water in, and then we're good to shave. I did an AMA on Reddit today um, on behalf of Carve, and it was good fun. I uh, got a lot of interesting questions. And, you know, I mean, you guys that leave, mess leave comments on here, I'm always willing to answer any questions anyone has. Carve related, personally, you know, anything really. I'll, I'm always open for a conversation and it's good fun. Creates one hell of a lather, I'm telling you. Man. Well, take a little bit more, I think. Just a little bit. Not too much, but. There we go. So what I'm doing here, I'm trying to line things up best I can. Not always easy, but I try my best. Real easy to lather time still. Um, this is a difficult set to get hold of, I'm not going to deny that. However, all of their other soaps are still pretty easy to get hold of just on their website. Um, you will have to pay kind of pretty high levels of shipping, but it's worth it. 
Okay, so Blackman Vector inside this, I have a Sheck P30 Pro line. So, this has blade fill, I'm not going to deny that. And before, I would say it was too much. But now, it's actually very comfortable. For anyone that's wondering, and is somewhat new to this hobby. Um, I'll explain something for the razor in a minute. Okay. So this is a pretty unique head shape, as you can see here. And the reason that is, is because it utilizes a different type of blade. This uses a blade called a uh, Artist Club style blade. There have been a lot of razors that have used this type of blade, but in my humble opinion, none of them have managed to do it as well as this. You've got things like the Hawk from Razor Rock. And if you look up those razors, one thing you'll notice is the head width is much, much greater than this. It's much larger. And for me, it makes it almost sh clunky to shave with. This, on the other hand, uh, Blackland have nailed the design of this. It's pretty simple. Okay, what is, I mean, to be honest, I think most of what they've done is just listen to the community. What do you want from any artist club style razor? Well, I know what we don't want, and what we don't want is one of those massive chunky heads. And they've done a fantastic job in the design of this. The finishing on this, I'm not a huge fan of. I feel it could have possibly been done a little, a little bit better, but that would be me being picky. But the design of this razor, for what it is, in my humble opinion, is impeccable. It's fantastic. Still loads of lather left in this. Beautiful from Talon still. One of my favorites. I think he's in Saskatchewan, I might be wrong. I think that's where he's from. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, he probably will anyway, <laughs> but absolutely. So this lather is very well hydrated for me. It's perfect. It's. To be honest, it could probably take more water, but I don't think it needs it because I think I'm at, for me, an optimum consistency. It's still very wet. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm looking for. Let's uh, paint a little bit more water into this if we can. I'm sure we'll be able to because this stuff can really take it. Absolutely fine. Amazing. Okay, let's uh, get on pass two here. Let's go across the grain. And this is, the, I'd say this is the pass where I really noticed the blade fill. Kind of like the Nodachi. It's very efficient, 
but it's smooth. And honestly, that's what I'm looking for. And it's funny because I don't think I liked this before because of the amount of blade fill. Now I actually like this amount of blade fill. I know a lot of head shavers that really enjoy this razor. It's just easy, like. The thing I like about it, it's a very slim head, but it's quite a long head, so it covers quite a lot of surface area. I'm happy, man. It does a very, very good two-pass shave. It's one of the best two-pass shavers I have. And uh, I'm confidently able to say that. Okay. Lovely consistency in the brush. So, tell me, what new guys, what stuff, English Jack, what new stuff do you guys have in your dens? I am eager to know anything you're, that's on the way that you're expecting. So I have just um, put down the first half for a new Max Sprecher. So I'm very, very excited for that. He makes wonderful, wonderful, wonderful straight razors, and uh, I'm very much looking forward to trying another one from him. He's amazing at it as well. He's definitely one of my favorites. I actually really like this tip knot and that loft. I know he increased the loft for me, but it's made a considerable difference. Um, specifically just this one, I found that the the 28 and the 30 has slightly better splay. But yeah, I, I, I wouldn't recommend, I couldn't recommend Milton enough. Like he's outstanding to work with and he makes cracking brushes. I think I call him out in every video because I, I love his razor so much. Let me show you how I clean blades. And this doesn't go, uh, this isn't different for my double edged blades either. Bit harder with these, but I'll show you nonetheless. My only slight on this razor is the difficulty of assembling and taking apart, but you cannot have a really slim head without having it easy to take apart, if you get what I mean. You gotta have one without the other. Okay, so you see the blade here? Let's get it to focus. There's the blade, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grip it here, around, and like you would if you're drying a knife, just pull away. And that'll get rid of any of the hair. Do not press into the blade edge. <laughs> I will reiterate, do not do that. What I've just done there is any hairs that were attached via, you know, lather or anything have been removed. And now I can just set that aside and we're, we're good to carry on with uh, cleaning the razor. So I'm just gonna do that, get it dried and then we'll get to our post.
yeah, I'm really enjoying shaving with this razor, to be honest. Like, I, I didn't... I, I, I knew in the back of my head, okay, I, I got rid of it now, but I'm gonna... I'm, I will try this again. There's a few razors that I probably won't get back because just of what they are, and I'm not particularly a fan of shaving with them, but this was one that, okay, I knew it was smooth and I knew it was a good razor, but for me and my taste at that time, it just wasn't really what I was looking for. I, I can confidently say now, if you're looking for a razor that uses this blade, like a safety razor, there are obviously um, shavettes that use these razor, use these blades. If you're looking for a safety razor that uses this blade, just look no further. This is the obvious one for me. It's, it's designed very well. As I said, I, the finishing, I think, could be a bit cleaner and a bit more professional, but it's not terrible. It's not bad, even. It's just not... It's not up to the standard of a $200 razor for me, personally. Um, but it's still fantastic. Like, it's still clean. It still looks nice. The design is very sleek. So I can't really complain. Um, Yeah, I, I really can't complain. There's a few machining marks here and there that I'm not a huge fan of, but hey, what can you do? Okay, let's get to the post shave, shall we? So let me wash my face off and we'll do that. Oh, wonderful rinse of some cold water. So, the post shave for today is going to be... Now, the reason why this set is special for me, it doesn't only have towel and still, it has an incredible aftershave maker. And this aftershave maker is none other than male grooming. Amazing. I'd also like to say the blend in the aftershave is remarkable. The scent is just... You get this... um. So back in England, I, I can't do it so much now, but I used to eat quite a lot of Indian food and the cardamom is really pronounced in this. And it's just wonderful, really wonderful. Let's get a decent splash of this. Don't need too much with male stuff. Oh man, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Incredible shave. Uh, two software products made in Canada. Absolutely incredible. I couldn't really can't highly recommend them enough. Let's do a bit of a recap. And as always, I will let you guys go. So my soap today was Echoes of Rain by Tallow and Steel. Remarkable. If you can get a hold of it, get a hold of it. Look for it. You'll, I imagine you'll be able to find it somewhere. Someone that's willing to let a set go. Alternatively, if you like the way the, the soap performed, he still sells other soaps, you know, Boreal, Sicily, Madagascar, they're all wonderful, wonderful scents, and it's a crime not to try them more than, to try them once, in my opinion. The razor of choice today was my somewhat newly acquired, I have tried this before, Blackman Vector, and inside this was a Schick P30 Proline blade, very smooth, very efficient, can't really ask for more in terms of performance, to be honest, guys. And my brush was the that Don Rob slash Turn and Shave Goblet of Fire with the uh, that Don Rob insignia here. And in this was a 26 mil V3 tip knot. And finally, to finish the shave, none other than good old male grooming, male grooming Echoes of Rain in collaboration with Tal Tallow and Still. Remarkable shave. Great day, good AMA. If you haven't subscribed and you've been liking my content, I'd very much appreciate you consider doing so. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host in the Virtual Grim Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day and goodbye for now.